Hello and welcome to the Meditation Mama podcast, a collection of guided meditations for expectant mothers created just for you during this wild and ever-changing time of your life. I'm Kelly and today I'll be leading you through your practice. So go ahead, get comfortable, settle in, and let's meditate. Hello, mamas. Welcome to this kind of different episode of Meditation Mama. I actually wanted to mix it up a little bit um, because today is the day that my book is released. So this is like labor and delivery day for my book, baby. And I know you've been hearing me talk about it. And I, I know for a lot of people, especially with like a book, It is, you know, it's one thing to pre-order it, but I know a lot of people kind of want that like instant gratification or, you know, you want to get it once it's available. And since this book is available um, in like a hard copy um, on Audible and also like as a Kindle version, what I thought would be kind of fun to do this week is to share um, a little snippet from the book and to read you a little bit of it so you can get a feel for like what it is. So what I thought I would do is read you the introduction of the book, a little bit of the introduction of the book and how to use it, and then a little bit of the prenatal section. I know many of you have other children, and so, you know, the the, the whole book is going to be relevant to you. But since Meditation Mama, I know a lot of people listening specifically are currently expecting, um, I wanted to read a little bit of the opener for the prenatal section that's in this book. And then you can just kind of sample it and get a feel for if it's for you or not. Um, it would mean the world to me if you enjoyed this book and you wanted to order it. Of course, if it's not, you know, don't worry about it. But um, I really kind of created this with the Meditation Mama um, community in mind. So I think it will resonate with you. And, you know, of course, with always how this book performs, it then will dictate if maybe there are more in the future. So if my publisher is like, oh, my gosh, Meditation Mama loves this book, um, then maybe I'll get to make more for you guys. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, today is the big day. You know, it is, yeah, book labor and delivery day. It's here. I finally get to um, hold and see this, you know, bouncing book baby. (laughs) So anyways, no meditation um, today, but I did want to read you a little excerpt of the book so you can sample it. So this is the introduction. Writing this book was kind of like raising a child. It's a living, breathing thing that I put my heart and soul into, and I wasn't entirely sure how it would all turn out until the end. This journey had a lot of ups and downs, learning and exploration, and I wouldn't have it any other way. When I first began teaching yoga and meditation over a decade ago, it wasn't the in vogue topic that it is now. Meditation and mindfulness were things that hippie, earthy, crunchy people did. And if you ever heard about kids or families meditating together, it was probably that odd homeschool family that lived off-grid, ate food from their small organic garden, and used reusable diapers. Now, I did have those families in my classes, and I absolutely adored them. But lots of other people came, too. I saw parents primarily mothers, who were curious what yoga was, or kids that saw us practicing together and thought it looked fun. I had librarians from the local library asking if I would do a mindfulness story time to help kids deal with their stress and worry. I realized that it wasn't that people didn't want to learn how to incorporate yoga and mindfulness into their lives, but they just didn't know where to start. They were curious about what mindfulness was, how to practice it, why they should practice it, and how it could possibly help their kids and themselves cope with the stress of everyday life. I can definitively say that mindfulness has a powerful effect on many, and it can be extremely beneficial for everyone. Still, many of us don't know where to start, 
especially when it comes to trying to fit a meditation practice into our busy lives as adults and parents, and when we want to introduce these practices to our kids too. Over the past 10 years, I've had the pleasure of getting to do what I love as a career and share the practices of yoga and meditation with students whose ages range from just a few weeks old to 92 years old. I have led students in the womb and those in their favorite rocking chair with their favorite sweatshirt with all 15 of their grandchildren's names on it. In November 2020, I welcomed my first child into this world, who we lovingly just call Pork Chop. Since then, my desire to explore the benefits of mindfulness and meditation in the family system has only grown, not to mention my need to personally meditate now that I am the mother of a toddler as well. I am so grateful that you are here turning these pages and taking this journey with me. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, you are the best parent for your child, and there's no one in this world who could do it better than you. I am so honored that you have let me be a part of your family's mindfulness and meditation practice, and I hope you enjoy the journey. Part 4. Meditations for the Growing Family As you raise your family, there may be times when you are not only parenting your current child, but expecting another. When I was pregnant with Porkchop, I found meditation to be one of the best tools I had for navigating the experience. In fact, I found it so helpful that I started a second podcast called Meditation Mama, where I share my prenatal meditations with other women who are expecting. I found out I was pregnant in March of 2020. And not even a week later, stay-at-home orders went into place. Suddenly, I was sicker than I had ever been in my life. My business was on hold for the foreseeable future, and I was stuck inside an 800-square-foot apartment with my partner. This wasn't exactly what I had expected with my pregnancy. Where was the glow everyone talked about? Where were the lovely walks outside showing off my bump or seeing the look on everyone's face when I told them I was pregnant? At the beginning of my pregnancy, I was a bit of a mess, and everything felt like it had been turned upside down. So when everything felt lost and I wasn't sure what to do, I did what I always do during times of uncertainty. I returned to my center, and I relied on meditation. I used a daily meditation practice to quiet my mind, quell my anxiety, and send love to the little being inside of me day after day. In fact, meditation was part of my pregnancy journey even before I conceived pork chop, when I started doing soul baby meditations and mentally preparing myself to become a parent. Although every pregnancy is unique and each woman will experience this time in her life differently, I found meditation to be a useful tool from the moment I decided I was ready to be a mom to the day that I delivered pork chop. In this section of the book, I will share the benefits of meditating during pregnancy, the best positions for meditating while pregnant, and seven of my personal favorite prenatal meditations that I used while growing my family. So that is a few little snippets of the book. Again, if it resonates with you, I will link in the show notes to all the places that you can order the book, either hard copy, Kindle, or on Audible. And yeah. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for being so loving and supportive of my little book baby. And I hope that it speaks to you the way that, I don't know, that I guess it, that it spoke to me. I don't know if that sounds right. (laughs) I, this really did feel like birthing a baby in a way. And I put the tools in this book that I would have wanted um, as I, became a mom. And so I hope that you find it to be helpful and beneficial and that it resonates with you. So thanks for tuning in to this. I don't know. What do we call this? A special, a a, a book reading? I don't know. That seems a little formal for this little book sampling, we'll call it. I hope you have a beautiful day. And if you want to grab that book, I will link to all the places in the show notes, Um, but it may also be available depending on where you are at your local bookstore.